Good morning here from Japan. Buenos dias, but buenas noches Buenas. In Puerto Rico. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so pleased to introduce to you our very special guest for today. She is the recently crowned Miss Internacional Puerto Rico 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Natalia Colon Figueroa. Hey, Natalia. Hi, Stefan. How are you? I'm great. Thank you very much. Thanks for asking. Um, Merry Christmas in advance. Feliz Navidad. Yes, Merry Christmas. <laughs> How is everything? You 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 look so Christmassy with a red, beautiful yeah. red uh, <laughs> dress that you're wearing. Yes. Um, as I told you, I have to confess that it, this is my first interview, my first mm. interview. So when I received the news that I have this interview with you, um, I was very conscious about that I have a lot of work. But at the same time, um, this is the most beautiful part of being in a beauty pageant that you have to, to challenge yourself. That's in true. So thank you, thank you, thank you for this opportunity. Yes, guys, please remember that both of us, both Natalia and me, we are not native English speakers. So we are trying our best to communicate here. So please be nice to us. Don't judge us based on our English, okay? We are. <laughs> We are gonna we're gonna enjoy this one. We're gonna we're gonna know more about Natalia and just like what she said, being in a beauty pageant means that you have to challenge yourself and she's right here right now and we admire that spirit. So Natalia, please tell us something about yourself. I have received your bio earlier and it mentioned that you actually have a degree in accounting and human resources. Yes. So you love numbers. Yeah, I love numbers. I love to analyze also. And I decided to study that because of my family, um, the influence of my family. I have many uncles that study the same. And also I complete my bachelor's degree just one year ago in December of the last year. So here we go. <laughs> Congrats. Congratulations for that one because I know accounting degree is not a very easy degree you have to be analytical you need to balance all those financial statements and uh, probably that's also one of the reasons why you have kind of shifted a little bit you know so instead of balancing yes. financial statements with the debits and credits now you're trying to balance your inner core through yoga because i also have received from your bio, I've read in your bio that you are now a certified yoga teacher for children. Yes. Now, can you please share to me what is the reason, what is the history behind this shift, sudden shift to being a yoga teacher? Sure. Um, so this, this pandemic year, I think that forced us to, to be more spiritual, to work with this spiritual inside and I decided to certify as a yoga teacher for children because I think that they need um, this resource that is very excellent for channel, channel the emotions um, to improve your concentration, to create better relationships. And the experience that I have during this pandemic year, um, and when I start, um, this practice, I think why not to share with the children that are the future of the world. So um, I am very thankful for that and I am trying to do my best and, and I am also working in a yoga project for the next year. So you will meet it soon, soon as January, because I am trying to work for, um, with a non-profit organization and I love to work with children because they remind me um, that we have a child inside and the yoga also invite us to continue believing in our dreams because here I am um, living a dream to become uh, Miss International Puerto Rico 2020. Yes, um, 
I just want to add, by the way, um, prior to me becoming a part of the Miss International Organization, I was actually a primary school teacher. So somehow I was involved with small kids here in Japan. So I was teaching Japanese kids. And I want to know from your side, what you think is the most challenging part for be being a yoga teacher for children? Because I could not imagine myself teaching yoga to my students because they are just like, wow, running here and there, left and right, jumping and all that. How could you actually teach concentration and yoga to small kids? I, I, I am very curious to know. Yeah, uh, well, children are very desperate that I, I have um, done in, during this practice. Um, they they always want to have fun and yoga it seems like a concentration discipline but in the yoga children it's very different um, um, um very different to the yoga the regular yoga that we practice with adults mm -hmm. um it's basic more for fun for play and you just um and you have to um do the children see you and they want to yeah, to do the same that you are doing so they are very fun so so it's more like um it's more fun and yeah. yeah combining fun with being able to control and concentrate on what yes. you're doing Yes. Okay, well, th that's quite interesting. And if they have a very beautiful teacher like you, <laughs> they, will, they will definitely concentrate and listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I want to know, what are the age range of your kids? From what age are you teaching? Like really young ones, like three years old, up to 12 years old, or? Um, I, uh, it's like for four years to approximately yes so which one are the cuter or easier to easier to teach well um i think that the children with the age of five or six because they are more um, um more, more concentrated or more able to to adapt to do their postures or the breathing exercise so yes so what, what is the proportion of boys and girls? Are there more girls joining in your yoga classes or are there more boys? There's more girls than boys, yes. And I think girls are easier to handle compared to boys, you know. I could just <laughs> imagine boys running left and right there because, you know, it reminds me of my job as a teacher. <laughs> but anyway, now, uh, now that you are Miss International Puerto Rico and you have the title in you, you have the crown with you, and you have mentioned a while ago that you wanted to have to be a part of this nonprofit organization, um, which is really very admirable because I wanted to know exactly the purpose and what is the reason why, or not, not why, but from now on, what do you want to achieve as Miss International Puerto Rico? Well, um, I think that beauty pageants are a, a holistic educational platform. So I decided to be in this beauty pageant because I want to live, I want to learn, and I want to grow in many aspects. So, and also beauty pageants are an excellent resource, an excellent platform to develop our project in life. So it's very important to be clear about what is your purpose in life and what do you want? Because it's an excellent platform to develop that. So I am working in a new project like I told you before. Yeah. Based on classes for yoga classes for children. So mm -hmm. we you will meet it soon as a January because I am working on that. And I think that this opportunity is is this um experience is um a great opportunity to develop my project in yoga for children. Yes, um, now that you have the title with you and you have, wow, we have you have more time actually to prepare for the international competition. So while you are preparing for that one, you could actually 
um, further um, imp uh, not improve. You could further enhance your portfolio, your influence, your your connection. Because being Miss International Puerto Rico, I'm sure it will open doors of opportunity for you, and uh, not just in Puerto Rico, I guess. So maybe also in the in um, in the Latin community in the United States, and maybe you know expand it much more in Latin America and throughout the world. And uh, tell me, please. Uh, I uh, just want to know exactly before before yoga. Yoga is really a, a very admirable thing to do. I, I I am one person who cannot actually concentrate that much with, when it comes to yoga. But um, before yoga, were you involved in some sort of a sports or any other skills that you that you have? Yeah, um, since my since I was a child. I participate in many sports, such as volleyball, basketball, like you, and tennis, also karate. Mm -hmm. And I do, I did stream once because I did crossfit. And also this year, I have the opportunity to do the skydiving. Um, this was a, a beautiful experience because I was, um, let me say, 14,000 14, um feet high so wow. my heart was so fast i i feel that i'm gonna die <laughs> I, know, I, <laughs> I feel so alive and this was a very very special moment in my life so yeah um i am very active in sports and also in arts because um i have also the opportunity to learn about theater and dance i love to dance salsa if you could, oh. um because you have to dance salsa. <laughs> you should teach me salsa. But I did do salsa. Um, maybe yeah. yeah, when I was still a student here, when I was still studying, we have this um, um, some sort of a of a festival here in Japan. We're in at one point, one part of the street, everyone was just do, doing salsa. And because of that, I started to to learn about it. Like it, it's really nice, you know, with all the with the way you you move your shoulder and your your hips <laughs> I love it dance and it's very popular here in Puerto Rico um yeah I love um, to dance salsa <laughs> <laughs> you should yeah like I said you should you should teach us what once you are here in in Miss International um actually I have some very interesting questions here there's one here from from Patani Patani Vihokratana asking a very beautiful question. What makes you proud of representing Puerto Rico? If I I am I am very excited to represent my country. Um, I think that my country, that Puerto Ricans are very happy and resilient people. Um, during the past year, we have the Hurricane Maria. Then we have, at the beginning of this year, we have earthquakes at the south of Ireland, and then um, the pandemic. So, despite all of that, we always have an, a smile in our faces. And in the difficult moment, we demonstrated that we are very solidary with the people that need us. So, that's why. I am very, very proud to represent my country. I could vouch to that actually because I've met many Puerto Ricans already, not just in beauty pageants, but also in my, like privately. Um, the, you guys are really very happy people. You are so positive. You're always, um, you're always uh, so, so energetic, you know, the positive vibe is always there. And uh, I, I really appreciate that one because sometimes when even in a very difficult situation, you just tend to just, you know, take it lightly and look at the positive and the brighter side. I could say that because last year, Ivana uh -huh. had a very difficult time when she arrived here in Japan because she was moved to a different airport. And uh, that was not easy, you know, imagine ending up in a different airport and uh, not knowing exactly when is your next flight. So, but she was able to handle it very well, positively. She didn't have her national costume during the press presentation, but still she was like, no, I can still do something yeah. about it. 
And that is one thing that I really admire about uh, about you guys, you know, you Puerto Ricans, you are so um, resourceful. You are so quick to make a decision, and I love it. I really appreciate that. Also, I love to celebrate everything, everything. <laughs> I can just imagine how's Christmas there in Puerto Rico. <laughs> it must be fun. It is the pandemic um, broke us um, many challenges because we are very effective people and. We have to be in our home, so it's very mm -hmm. difficult. But we we still um, we we still um, make beautiful moments with family and friends, also. Yeah, um, for social people like us, I would I will <laughs> I will include myself because I I really love socializing. I love meeting people. I love meeting different uh, my friends, my family. This pandemic has really become a very challenging year for for us because we cannot we cannot meet physically with as many people as much as we wanted to. But there in Puerto Rico, you know, still you I think you're able to manage. I've been checking out on the Instagrams of uh, previous Miss International Puerto Ricos, and uh, you you are very cautious, of course. You you do the necessary protocols, but at the same time, you still manage to meet different kinds of people. What what's one thing that you actually missed doing normally now that we have because of the pandemic and uh, like for example in my case I really missed just uh, you know having night outs with my friends nowadays we could not do that do that what is one thing that you really miss the most Yeah also the same I I miss so much to be with my friends in nights to do to dance salsa. I love to dance. <laughs> and so <laughs> that moments, that moments when we go to to theater to dance um, places, and it is very difficult. But I think that um, better days are coming. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, well we have learned a lot of lessons this year and i think that we'll become a better uh better and more responsible citizens yes. after this and when all of this is true then i think we should uh, be more um yeah i think we should be more cautious with with the way we actually le lead our life um hopefully we don't need to wear mask 365 days a year <laughs> Because it's really very difficult to wear a mask during summer. I, I always wear masks during winter time, but summertime and wearing masks is really very hard. It's just so hot and humid. Well, anyway, um, I have to I have to go through this these comments you have here. I'm so sorry, guys, if I haven't shared your comments. Ryan Ramos just raised four four Puerto Rican flags in here. Carla as well. Jose Alvarez, well, now with more flags, that's like six flags. <laughs> well, my friend Joseph, he's actually from Slovak Republic. He left a message here. Bravo. Thank you. Ivana Sofia Rosada says Puerto Rico. <laughs> we have a doctor here. Is he a doctor, Jose Carlos Mendoza? Do you know him? Friend, yes, I mean, I, I love. I say, Carlos, thank you so much for your comment. Really, really appreciated. We have here Adriana also saying two Hi. hearts and Puerto Rico flag. Giuliano Enrique says, Viva Puerto Rico. <laughs> Monica Robles says, Go Puerto Rico. Thank you guys for your comments. You know, really, really appreciate it. Tofer. Oh, wow. I am so thankful for all the support, all the love received for many people worldwide. I am very excited and I can't wait to meet Japan and meet the other girls. Yes, of course, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, the Puerto Ricans, <laughs> the Puerto Ricans are really very friendly. I'm sure of that. You know, you guys are setting the mood most of the time, especially in the in the Latin group. Um, it's uh, it's 
it's going to be one one fun Latin group, I guess, this year. Again, as usual, every year the Latino group is all always fun to be with. Um, oh, here's a here's a a question here that maybe you we can answer. This could be the last question, I guess. Abby Ortiz, what is your most memorable moment as a beauty queen for now? Oh wow. I have so moments, so beautiful moments, but I think that the most uh, beautiful um, part of being in a beauty pageant is to to meet wonderful people because I, I miss a lot of wonderful people and to create um, relationships that you know people that then become your family. So that is the most beautiful part of being in a beauty pageant. And also because the many doors can be open to you um, after beauty pageants. That's true. Yeah. Um, beauty pageants, no matter how many times you actually compete or how many times you join, um, will always bring something, some sort of a lesson to you. You, you get to know yourself better and that's like what you said windows of opportunities will come your way and it's just and it depends on you and how you're going to use or take advantage of those opportunities that were given to you because you can only join beauty pageant at a certain point of your time at a certain age and yeah and i think i think being a beauty contestant and a beauty queen yourself um i know that you have learned a lot of lessons and you have improved yourself based on your experiences so it's not really about winning or competing it's more about uh, improving yourself and getting to getting to know yourself better and making each experience worthwhile so guys thank you so much for all of your comment comments i really appreciate i'm so sorry if you're not able to 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 post them here um thank you thank you um marta here says we are proud of our beautiful queen um yes we are also very happy to have her as miss international puerto rico so guys um please continue to follow um our miss international facebook page our um Miss International Puerto Rico, Natalia Colon Figueroa. Please follow her on her Instagram, on her all of her social media handles. Thank you so much for your support. Um, you. So guys, if you, if you want to know more about Miss International, just follow us on our Instagram account at Miss International Official, our Twitter account at Miss Inter ORG, our Facebook account, Miss International.bp, and our newly revamped YouTube channel, Miss International channel so guys thank you so much thank you very much natalia you're very beautiful you're wonderful feliz navidad merry, merry christmas <laughs> <laughs> merry christmas everyone thank you and we love you guys thank you very much puerto rico see you see you <laughs>